Hello and welcome back in another sheet metal workshop video and in this video I'm going to show you another method how to make a cheat bend. I already made one in the past with drawing, developing and making it a template so that is one way and this is just another way like they say there are many roads that leads to Rome so there are different methods to make it. So I have decided to show you here another method. So I have, for example, here an elbow and that elbow is 72 degree. So I'm going to write here down 72 degree elbow and it's got a diameter of 240 millimeter. These are just example sizes, but it works with all kind of diameters or sizes. Now, 70 degrees, I want to make it uh, 90 degree because sometimes you have pipes with uh, small diameters and big insulation and you cannot make uh, clad, do the cladding because a 90 degree elbow won't fit because of the insulation and a normal bend also won't fit because the radius is too small and that's why we make a cheat band that cross over because a cheat band doesn't have a radius you can uh, play with it however you want that's why it's called cheat band and that's good because in the insulation you won't get bent when you cheating okay this was a joke now to get the 18 degrees segment we make a normal segment elbow made out of five parts that means i have four segments. I have a starter segment and an end segment. That is a five part segment. That means when I divide 90 degrees into five, I will have one segment is 18 degrees. That means 18 plus 72 makes 19. Now, how do I know what uh, bed with five part segment I need? Well, there's a formula and that is always, it's a constant formula. That means it, it's always the same. It's good when you're working with a machine so you can type it in. That means diameter 240, I will multiply, multiply with 1.112. And that is in this video and this for this example, it's a, a diameter of 268.8. Diameter. So this band has got a diameter of 268.8 diameter and it's a five part band. That means four middle parts, a starting segment and an end segment. Now I'm going to show you. Eh? So this one is much bigger than this one. Eh? You, see, it's, you see here the difference, it's bigger. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to here glue this through. You only need one segment. I, I just make this band for an example to show, but you don't need a whole band. You just need only one segment. That means it's also possible to do it with a calculator, the sheet metal calculator. If you watch my video, sheet metal calculator, they're all programs, you can download it, everything is for free. So you just make a um, 72 degree elbow and then you calculate a segment band with four parts, a five part segment band with the radius as small as possible. So you see here, in the throat of the, of the segment, it's small as possible. Just, uh, you need just enough place to sway it. That's everything you know, you have to know. So, now I'm gonna show you here how this fits. So, we're gonna put this here on. Okay, wait a minute. So we're going to put this here on, one, two, second one, and here is the end 
second one. segment bend. So I hope you remember the formula. Again, it's always the same formula. It's very popular in Holland, in Belgium. Most of those people they're working with those cheat bands, they know about this trick. I just want to share this knowledge and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.